Welcome to Breaking Health News. This is our first production, and uh, I'm thrilled to present the program to you this morning. Uh, my name is Jack Stagman, and I serve as producer of Breaking Health News. I came to Northern Virginia as a missionary from South Africa 14 years ago. Uh, before we start, I wanted to introduce my good uh, colleague, Hunter de Butts. Uh, welcome to the program today, Hunter. Thank you, Jack. And it's going to be wonderful to share a few uh, ideas with, with the people. Thank you very much. Uh, if you're interested in developing a successful business model or health conscious or you have health issues, then breaking news is for you. The U.S. has 5% of the global population and yet we consume 70% of the pharmaceutical drugs. In terms of health and longevity, the U.S. is number 38 in the world just behind Cuba. So America is a very unhealthy country. Now, I wanted to focus more on our guest, Hunter de Butts. And Hunter, first of all, tell us something about yourself. Well, I'm a, a born here in Loudoun County, Virginia, and was a, a, a farmer for the first 30 years, 35 years of my yeah. life, and um, spent a little hitch in the military, uh, fought a war in Vietnam years and years ago, and, and uh, after that I came back and I've had a, a career in real estate for the second half of my my life, and that's just about sums it up, Jack. Ah, great, thank you very much. Hunter, you've joined the team of Spreading True Health globally, um, with compassion, obviously. Tell us something about that. Why did you get involved in that? And you've also had some health, in, uh, health uh, issues. Would you like to share what's happened about that? Yes, I do, um, or yes, I would. In 1960, 1998, excuse me, I started developing issues uh, primarily with my shoulders, my knees, and my joints, and I just contributed to, to getting older. And uh, those issues continued to uh, progress in severity, and by 2002, <coughs> there were times that my, my legs would swell up to the point that I look like um, someone that was deformed. Um, the pain was excruciating. At times it was too painful to put a blanket on it. And um, of course I couldn't walk during those attacks. And I started seeing the doctors quite frequently at that time and they uh, diagnosed me with just about everything that you can imagine. Um, from gout, rheumatoid arthritis, you know, I mean, the list just went on and on. And over over um, um, a, the span of 98 to 2002, it was, life was, was miserable. And a friend of mine asked me if I'd ever been tested for Lyme disease, and, and I said no. He said, well, my son had Lyme. I, uh, his symptoms were very similar to yours, so you might want to get checked. So I went over to the doctor, I asked him if he would check me for Lyme disease. He said, I think it's a waste of time. Your symptoms don't indicate that. I said, please, test me anyway. And he did, and two days later, I get the test results back, and I, I just blew it off the chart. And <clears throat> that started antibiotics, and for the next eight years, I was on and off antibiotics. I would take them for the month, month and a half period of time, feel pretty good. After about eight weeks, I'd start sliding back again. By 2009, when those slide backs would occur, they would become more severe each time. And by the summer of 2010, <clears throat> The disease had gotten into my brain. It knocked out my long-term memory, uh, short-term memory first. Started working on my long-term memory. Wow. I was living in an absolute fog. I couldn't as much as put a sentence together. It had uh, developed in my joints to a point I could no longer walk down steps. I lost 70% of the use of my right hand and arm. I love bass fishing, and I had to quit doing that. What a pity. <laughs> I'm telling you. And um, it was then that... <clears throat> Uh, Mr. Pat Cassidy said, Hunter, if you want to get well, I think I've got something that can help you. And he brought over to my house seven gallons of restructured alkalized water, and he suggested strongly that I drink it. And, uh, and I did. Within 
a week, two things happened. My energy level picked up a little, not a lot, but a little. But for the first time in nearly 10 years, I slept a full night. And for me, that was a big deal. And um, I continued drinking it. Within a month to a month and a half, the pain in my right hand went away. Within two or three weeks after that, the pain in my knees went away. And um, that's when I decided I needed to get my own uh, ionizer to restructure the water myself. So I purchased one. And when I did, Pat asked me if I wanted to do this as a business. I said, Pat, I'm so sick, I can't do the business that I've got. No. He said, well, how many other people do you know that are ill like you are? And I said, at my age, almost everybody. Well, and he said, could you share water with them? And I said, sure, I'll share water with them. So I started giving people water. And um, I've been drinking it now for four and a half years. My physical condition today is better than it's been in decades. I, uh, in December this past, I turned 66 years old. I feel better today than I did when I was 40. I'm stronger mentally, I'm clear, and the only thing I changed in my life is I changed the water I drink. And restructured alkalized water for me has been a godsend. It's given me my life back. And uh, today we've, you know, in our small little group, we've helped hundreds of people achieve the same thing. So to spread health globally, if there was ever, as Walmart liked to say, one-stop shopping, uh, this is it. This restructured alkalized water does it. Hunter, that's an absolutely amazing story. I think many people are going to benefit from that. Thank you for coming into the show today. Uh, thank you for watching the video today. Should you have any questions or wish to know more, please contact us today. <laughs>